G'day folks, I'm Wayne, Land Bay Fishing, welcome back to the channel. Well, today I'm bored, I'm in the shed, I've finished mucking around with the boat and I thought I'll put together a video on some of the gear that I use. Now, I could go all out and show you all the different bits and pieces I use for the different types of fishing, but that would make a video last about an hour long and you'd be bored, I'm sure, within the next five minutes. So what I might do is get a little bit more specific and um, we'll have a look. Like when I go fishing for the for brim, say at the pontoons, I take a certain set of gear. When I go fishing the flats, different set of gear. Um, when I go beach fishing, it's a different set of gear, and so on and so on. So with winter coming, uh, there's a couple of things that I like doing in the winter. One's chasing snapper out on the in the shallow reef. The other's squid fishing, and the other's fishing pontoons around uh, Newport and Bribey for big brim. So we might start off with the uh, pontoons and I'll show you some of the gear that I use when I'm chasing brim at the pontoons. The gear that I've got to choose from, I'll quickly show you my rods and reels, is up here. So that's, they're the choices I've got. I'll get, down, uh, I'll get down a couple of rods and show you the rods that I use. The lures that I use the jigs that I use etc around the pontoons so back in a minute so the gear I like using around the pontoons are either over at um, Newport or, or Bribey uh, the lighter gear is it, it's the lighter gear so the lrf six foot six rod and that's paired with a uh, size 20 akuma pixel um that spool straight through with four pound um mono the mono is the super 100 from platypus so that one there pretty much is my first go-to rod absolutely love this rod four pound line it throws really well a lot of you casting in around the pontoons a very short distance so it's short distance casting you the braid is a fantastic product there's no ifs buts in it. it certainly has a place but around the pontoons you can flick really lightly weighted soft plastics with four pound mono because you're only flicking anywhere from as little as four meters to 10 meters away um, if you're flicking more than 10 meters you'll probably find that you're not close enough to where the fish are to be accurate and land on top of the fish so I like the um, the four pound mono straight through. This one here is a five pound braid or a six pound braid um, by Platypus as well. This one here is a combo. It's the um, Helios combo by Akuma. So that's a size 30 reel and that's a seven foot rod, I think. Yep, that's seven, 702, so seven foot two. Very good rod reel combo. Um, again great for flicking i like the shorter rods the reason i like the shorter rods the longer your rod can you imagine a rod that's say 12 foot long how hard it would be to be accurate with that rod well the shorter the rod the more accurate you're going to be with pontoon fishing a lot of it's sight fishing so you'll be using the electric motor you'll be going down the, the pontoons once the sun's up you'll see the fish under the pontoons and you'll be casting right at at the fish there's one there yeah Two. Yeah. Um, the weights are so lightly weighted, and I'll show you them in a minute. That um, that it they ju it just flutters down in front of the nose, and they're used to the bumps, crashes, and bangs on the pontoons because people are on the pontoons all the time. So they really don't spook with a uh, a lure hitting the pontoon and just fluttering down in front of them. So you want to give that a shot. We'll move on from the rod reel combos and we'll have a look at the uh, the lures and the jigs that I use. We'll start off with the jigs. This is from TT Lures. You'll see these two sizes here, my two go-to sizes, 1 12th and 1 16th. I also throw this one here, which is a 128th, I don't have the packet for that one, so same packet, it just says 128th. 
Um, they're all in a fine hook, so that's all you need for brim under the pontoons. And what these do, they're a hidden weight, so once you put the lure on, So once you put the lure on it, completely disappears that lead and all you're left with is the eye of the hook and the actual barb. So from a bait perspective, it looks very natural. So you can see that that weight completely disappears. Now, the other thing I'll show you is the Once you put the soft plastic on, you've got a whole choice of scents these days. They all work, like at the end of the day, they all work. Some work a little bit better than others, I think. Um, you can see that one is a new one that I've got. It's a, uh, a yabby flavour. This one here I really like. That's a sardine pilchard. And that's the other one I really like. That's a mullet. The reason I like these two is these two are found in the bay in massive numbers, mullet and, and, uh, and pilchard. And it just seems that I like to keep things natural. So as natural as it can be, obviously, using artificial baits. But this gives it a real natural scent. And uh, with the natural scent, I think it really does help um, the more natural you go. I haven't used this one yet, but a saltwater yabby is going to be just like these two because yabbies are really common around here as well so we'll uh, we'll give that one a shot this one here uh, it's a tuna scent as you know this time of year the tuna come on it's also that I really like this color the, the blood red um, I'm sure I haven't used this one yet but I'm sure this one will work really well as, as well but uh, make sure you put a bit of scent on the uh, the lure and flick it up against that pontoon and you'll find yourself a feed in no time Alright, that's done. Now the soft plastics I like using. The grubs in a motor roll, two and a half inch. The tails on these things really give you that good flutter and natural movement as it heads down. And I really like the Slim Swims. The Slim Swims have been absolutely cleaning up lately. And that's what a Slim Swim looks like. And this is the packet that you're looking for. That's the motor oil. Through the summertime, I like the motor oil and the darker colours. In the wintertime, I do go lighter. Um, give you a look at these, they're greasy prawns. So that's the packet for the greasy prawn. I'll get the packet out. And that's the Slim Swim in the greasy prawn colour. So in the Z-Man Grubs, these are the colours I like. That there is a uh, shimmer pearl. That one's the greasy prawn colour. Then you've got a midnight oil. And that's like a motor oil, but with a, a gold and silver fleck through it. That one works really well, especially in, uh, in the cover of darkness. So as it's getting light or getting dark, I go to, from the motor oil, I'll, I'll go to this fleckly one. And um, that midnight oil works really well. And that's probably my main go to lure the the uh, two and a half inch grub in motor oil so that's the the grubs that i like um summertime darker colors and wintertime lighter colors the reason i'm not sure why but the the reasons i think the uh, dark colors in the summertime is because the color of the water um generally speaking in the summertime and around my area anyway we get a lot of southeasterly and northerly winds and um, a lot less winds from the west so the water really stirs up a, a dirty color about it the darker lures seem to go a bit better in the dirty water in the summertime it's the other way around the winds are from the southwest south and and uh, northwest and the lighter stuff seems to work because the water is completely clear you can see the bottom no trouble at all and um and they seem to work a lot better than the darker darker soft plastics that's the grubs so same colours but with the um, with the slim swims and two and a half inch. Now this is just brim, remember? Two and a half inch will catch anything. Um, you'll get flattened in 
you can get jacks on two and a half inch RR. Well, that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hit the like button for me if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.